Good morning, Mops. My name is Kristen Noob, and this is your devotional for the week of October 1st. So uh, my four-year-old daughter, as a lot of you with a four-year-old can probably um, connect with this, but she, I'll read her a book at bedtime just a couple times, and she'll have it totally memorized. The one we're doing right now is Madeline, and it's fascinating to watch her read me basically word for word the book, tone for tone, inflection for inflection. The same is true if she hears a song she loves. Her current song, Y'all Don't Judge My Mothering, uh, or My Parenting, is Whiskey Glasses. You know, pour me, pour me another round. That one. She does this little, light em up, light em up, light em up. Anyway, it's kind of bad. But the point is, my husband watched her sing Whiskey Glasses word for word, and he was like, we need to maybe shift this memorization ability to something more wholesome, like maybe memorizing scripture. So that's what our topic is for today, bringing God into our homes, talking to our kids about God. I want to advocate something you might have already done before. Maybe this is a, a new idea. Um, it's to memorize scripture because our kids are little sponges and they can memorize things right now. I mean, they're learning so much. So let's help them do this practice of, of burying God's word in their hearts that it might be a treasure that they're able to discover at some point later in life. The first scripture I was ever asked to memorize was Philippians 2 verses 1 through 5 when I was 18 years old and I had just become a Christian and I signed up with Young Life to go work at one of their summer camps and I had to memorize this verse about serving and I still remember it. Part of it goes, um, each of you should look not only to your own interests but also to the interests of others. I have not forgotten these five verses. They were implanted on my heart. God has helped me remember them and brought them up many times in my life. In fact, that part about looking not only to your own interests but also to the interests of others is one that Emily probably has memorized because I say it so often in our house when my attention is demanded in 37 different ways by my little tiny terrorists as I'm sure you can relate. Uh, if you're if you're brand new to memorizing scripture, let me encourage you to choose some verses. I'll make some available um, either at the end of this video or I'll email it out to the Mops group. Um, choose verses that really speak to the mercy, the love, the kindness, the tenderness of God as opposed to for our family, we don't choose verses so much about like a doctrine or what is truth, what is right, what is wrong. Um, but we want to encourage our kids to memorize verses that later on in life, when, when she's 13 and she's struggling with her self-worth or she's 25 and struggling with what is her place in the world and how does she fit and how does she belong, um, we want to speak to the love and the mercy of God. And so um, one of a great one that we've already started memorizing, and it's really sweet, my two and four-year-old both know it, is the blessing from Numbers. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon you and give you his peace now and forever. And then we always add on, Alleluia, Amen. Um, they have that memorized and it just I just started saying it with them at night. Um, they have a few other ones memorized too, which is, which is pretty fun. So if scripture memory is new for you, I have some ideas, some little tips and tricks. Uh, let's see. First, this one is super helpful for me. I'm a visual learner. Is write it out on like on a piece of cardstock in colored markers. Uh, this really helps my brain. Like I'll break up like each stanza. Um, like I'll put the first whatever comes before the comma, and then you know another. Th and I'll do those all in different colors. And that really helps my brain like see that there's seven parts, and I can remember the colors. Um, plus, you get to go buy craft supplies, like some new pretty markers. Um, so that's one fun one. Um, doing them at night before bed, um, it's a wonderful way to soothe their anxieties and their fear of the dark um, with just some good scripture before bed. We'll take turns saying it. You say it, then I'll say it. Sometimes I'll say it and I'll mess up a word, and um, it gives her a chance to say, no, mommy, that's not how it goes, and then she'll tell me the right way that it goes. Um, you can do them over breakfast with your cards. Um, there's lots of different ways, as I'm sure you guys have plenty of ideas of, of times of the day or strategies for doing it. A couple other things is if your kids are motivated by this, you could offer like a special treat if they memorize it. Um, but then I'm also super wary of bringing in religious baggage to our house, so I don't want that to be like another thing of pressure and failure. Um, so try to make it fun, try to make it light, very little pressure. And then my, my final suggestion is just um, if your child memorizes a word of scripture don't uh, try to avoid 
having them perform that for others. Um, oh, Grandma, look what look what Emily can do. Um, that's a special thing between them and God, and maybe something that they do um, in the safety of their bedroom with their mom or dad at night. Um, now, if they want to show Grandma and Grandpa what they learned, that's awesome, but I wouldn't um, ask them to perform it. So those are just a couple of tips for memorizing scripture, and then I will um, also have Amanda Grace email out some, some suggestions of where to start. You got this, mamas. Hands up, love is reaching out to